Hey everybody, welcome back to Minor Stuff. I'm Matt. I'm Pat. We're, we're the, the Minor Brothers. Brothers. Today we're doing our five bottles that we'd probably never buy again. I guarantee we'd never buy again. Let's get into it. Alright, welcome back everybody. Before we get started with this list, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, drop some comments down below of some bourbon that you bought that you said this sucks and you plan to never buy again. Um, most of these have reasons. A lot of it has to do with money versus taste, not just that they suck all together. Um, and this is also just our straight um, bourbons that we're talking about because we did have a uh, old fashioned mix, I believe, that was oh, so yeah. bad that you we drain poured it. Yep. Um, and that's obviously not going to make because it was a, a mix. So yeah, this is just bourbon whiskey. Um, first, yeah. we'll start with what we're drinking. Well, what I'm drinking. New England Barrel Company. This was a uh, barrel pick from Redstone Liquors. One, I, I swear the guy from Redstone has some of the best picks out there. This one is a single barrel rye at 138.4. And the proof is just absolutely perfect. The <laughs> amount of flavor from this bottle is like, I, I can't even describe it's it. It's got some flavor, but it's freaking It's like hot. if an angel t cried tears of happiness and joy. And we bottled it up, it would be this. It, it burns so bad, how do you know that? Dude, it does not burn. It is absolutely amazing. And I'm going to somehow try to find a way to get a second bottle of it, even though we only, there's only like a 30 bottle drop, so it was a hard one to get. All right, Pat, we've had a lot of bourbons and whiskeys that we've had, and we just yeah. weren't worth it. Yep. So, first one. Basil Hayden. I, I don't know why I went for it. The guy's like, oh, they got toast and blah, 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 and so great and all this other stuff. And I was like, oh, I'll give it a try, try to be nice to the store owner guy, and bought it, and oh my goodness, it was bad. And it's just not, I don't know, it's not that it's, it's horrible. It's not a drain pour worthy. Yeah. It's just not something that not I'd like to you. enjoy. Yeah. Um, so it's it's just definitely and and there's some people out there that absolutely love basil hate. Yeah. There's other people out there who absolutely hate this stuff. I don't remember that one. And you know, reason. I always like you know like Bourbon Junkies I think said that this thing makes a great doorstop basically, um, or he uses it for some of his caulking guns and stuff like random stuff. And uh, you always got to give stuff a try yourself just to find out what your palate likes compared to others. Mine is definitely not this. All right, first one I'm gonna go with copper and cask. Um, this was a store pick, and we were looking forward to this one originally. Yeah, and it just fell flat for us. It, it what well, didn't fell flat? It was very tannic. It was just very, I don't know. There was just something about it that did not make great. The only reason that this much is gone is because yeah. we used some for some photo promo stuff. Um, realistically, that's it. I, we had a couple, couple pours and just. Did it hit it didn't. It no. Definitely did not. It, it. This one, I think I recommend to just drain pour this one too. Yeah, which we haven't yet, because hey, if I got to use it for an extra photo, I mean, at least there's a, some bottle of whiskey I don't have to waste. Yeah. All right, this thing. This was a drain pour. I saw this thing, and with the little guy in the back that you could see through the stuff, and the little guy on top, I was like, oh, this bottle is super cool, and you know, I bought it for the effect and whatever else. Oh my goodness, is this crappy ass stuff. Uh, Rogue Spirits, Dead Guy Whiskey, 80 proof, aged two years. You could tell it was aged two years. Yeah. It was horrible. Tried it a couple times, so see if air would open old. it up and whatever. Nothing. Nothing helped. That went down the drain. It was two years old. I mean, you can't have high hopes for that, realistically. You gotta have some hopes. All right, Pat. The next one was a pretty big letdown. So the next one... Barrel gray label. So this guy was two hundred forty nine dollars. Um, fifteen years, which is surprising. It's got age to it, and it's only a hundred point four proof. So proof wise, it was in my real in my house. It's not that this and thing sucked either. It just wasn't worth the money. Two hundred and fifty dollars. I can think of. So, I'd rather buy a stag at full secondary than that. 
It's not that it was bad juice. It just wasn't worth the money. The value that you're getting for your $250 was not in that bottle. You know, it's more than just that. It, for me, the flavor of this one just doesn't hit it. So, barrel batch 31, barrel 33, freaking hitters. The seagrass rye there, also, freaking yeah. absolutely phenomenal. This one, I mean, I would rather take a bunch of $30 bottles over this bottle. I, I, you know, you, the what? hype, the hype for it made it in, in the price, everything else. You're expecting something yeah. great, and it just sort of fell flat. Oh, it more than fell flat. It's it, it, the taste just isn't isn't what it should be for that for that age number one, and for that price. And they have like they have more expensive. They have the gold ones too that are like four ninety nine that we're not even like gonna go close to. No, just because we don't want to. Why waste that much money if it's gonna be a big disappointment? Yeah. Yeah, they've got they've got a ton of other hitters that are a lot less money than this, and I would buy the the batch thirty one, the batch thirty three. I'll buy those all day long. Yeah, well over this, I could buy two and a half bottles for the price of this one. Those other things were phenomenal. Yeah. So, all right, Pat, we got one more to go. This thing looks the fucking balls. This and is what happens when you buy off of looks, right, man? Literally, why I bought this thing because. I mean, I wanted my own little Samurai Warrior guy here, and it looks cool, and it tastes like vanilla water. Yeah, it wasn't very strong at all. Isn't it only like 80 proof or something like that? Like, it's not, there's not much Yeah, it was 80 it. proof. It wasn't, there was nothing great about it. It was literally just over, it was like a vanilla um, extract syrup that you had to cook. The thing that kills me, too, is that's in the locked cabinet, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was $150, so... The, Holy the, the, shit, you what? Yeah. Uh, once again, I have this cool little decanter now with a little samurai, dude. But that's about it. And, and the whiskey itself, the juice inside of it is not worth it. That's why when we did the review, too, I even said, like, I'm, I bought one. And I'm not going to be mad at buying one because, like I said, I wanted the little armor. I mean, who else literally makes armor plates for their bottles? That's cool. However... What's inside of it, I'm not probably going to drink. Because there's so many other bottles. Once again, $30 bottles that I would take over this. The, the flavor's better. The, the, you know, the complexity, everything is better. And it's $30 compared to $150. Oh, yeah. So that's another one I wouldn't waste my money on. Like I said, unless you want some cool armor, dude, just to sit on your shelf and look cool. Um, I made the mistake. It wasn't worth $150. Bucks. I was... Expecting the whiskey to be somewhat good, just because it was in the lock cabinet. I did no research on it. It just it looked cool. It was hard to get. Matt, listen, uh, if if you're paying 150 dollars for this just because you want the cool looking armor, you're an idiot. <sighs> All right, that that there you need to understand fiscal responsibility, and that is well, not. I was, I was there hoping the juice was good too. I just had no idea. I never. You just said it. you just bought it for the bottle because it looked cool. Yeah. The bottle is not. Does that does that look like one hundred fifty dollars to you right there? It did at the time. I don't know how drunk I was, but it did at the time. No, I got it. So, so those are the five bottles that we're not going near again. Yep. Uh, what are some bottles that you guys bought that you guys didn't like? Um, let us know down in the comments. And uh, everybody, have a good day.